Hello, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to deploy to AWS an API built with Node.js. I have a video where I built this API from scratch. It is the previous video in the channel, so the link will be on the description if you want to check it out. And the service that we are going to use is the Elastic Beam Stop from AWS, which is super simple to configure and get our API up and running in the server. So let's go to the computer and get started. Before you get started with the deploy, you have to make sure that you have Git installed and the eBCLite installed as well in your machine. So I'll leave this link below the manually install the eBCLite in the description and you can follow these steps to install the eBCLite. First, you need to install the Python and the pip here and then you have to add to your variables here, your path variables and then just install here pip install aws ebcli it's really easy the process here you can make this in like five minutes maybe ten minutes and then you can come back to the tutorial to start the deploy so let's go to the github here my github you can find this link here that it is the project that we built in the previous video and it is an api a product list and if you don't want to Build this API. If you didn't build, you can just clone the repository. So let's clone the repository in a folder that we remember. On here, get here. Okay, now that we are inside our project. Let's open our terminal here and let's start by typing git in it and then let's go to our git ignore file. Let's delete all of this code here, it's a lot of thing. And let's get from the documents here, the git ignore, git ignore here, let's paste here and okay. Now let's type here in the terminal command eb init platform node dot js dash dash region so this command creates a file in that folder dot elastic install that specifies settings for us to create environments in our application after that let's go to our pack.json and let's create our start script here. We need a start script here. Let's point to our server.js here. Let's save. Okay. Now let's go to our server.js. And let's set here const port. So basically here, this process.env.port will be using the port that AWS will provide to us. And then when we are in develop mode here in our local host, you can use the 333 port here. Let's switch this port and okay, perfect. Save. Now we have to create a folder here called .eb extension. And inside a folder called node command config. And here we can paste this code here that we have on docs on the documentation here. Let's get here this code the npm start that it will start our application in the AWS server here. Let's copy here, let's save and OK. Close this now. We can use the git add, the git commit, and then we can use the eb deploy. Well, here it didn't work because we have to specify which file we are going to use here, and it will be the eb use product list. Oh, it's not the one that we created before. 
Oh, okay, I forgot to create the sample. We have to type here eb create dash dash sample and we can type here product list and it will be create here in a few minutes maybe. Okay, now it was successfully launched the environment here. We can type eb deploy just to test again. It might take a while this deploy, but just wait a few minutes. Okay, after the deploy is completed so successfully here, let's type here eb open. And it will open our browser here. Okay, perfect, it's working. It's thing here you cannot get because we don't have anything here, but if you type here slash products, you see that our API is here. We can test using the Insomnia. So let's go to our Insomnia as we used the, in the previous video. So here you are in our Insomnia here. We have our product list from the previous video here. Let's open it. Let's go to our managing environments here. And let's get this link here. URL, copy from here paste okay now we can create a product and test our application okay it was created let's try to create another one with the same name and yeah product already exists let's refresh here perfect it's right here our product we can list our the product like it is being doing here um let's get this id and let's update the product. Let's send here. Okay, it was update. Let's. Yeah, five. The quantity is five now. Let's delete this product. Test. Okay, it was deleted. And perfect. Our API is up and running in AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like below and subscribe if you want to see more content like that. And I'll catch you up next time.